welcome to a new studio vlog. Today is September 22nd, a Thursday. Today's plan is that I have a video premiering in like five minutes. So I'm going to attend that premiere, which is probably the video that is before this one. And then this afternoon, my mother-in-law is going to watch Rowan, so I'm really excited about that. I'm, I plan on starting a new painting with you. So we'll start a new painting and I'll show you here in a minute my plan, like what I'm thinking about painting. And also, I want to say this is my 100th vlog ever on YouTube, my 100th vlog. I have been on YouTube now for like four and a half years and I've officially made it to the 100th vlog. <laughs> Yay! So yeah, that's exciting. Anyways, I will show you here what I'm thinking about painting and we'll get started on that. All right, so here's an idea, like the idea that I have for my painting. Obviously not a white background. It's going to be, you know, like maybe like an abstract like background. So yeah, I did this in Procreate. Um, to help me plan it out. So yeah, this is what I plan on painting and I will show you the canvas that I plan on painting on. So this is the canvas that I plan on trying out. I've never tried this canvas. Um, it's from Fredericks and I got this on the Blick Art Supplies website. I will link it or this type of canvas down below for you um, if you'd like to check it out. Yeah, it's supposed to be really good. Um, it's a size, what is it? A size 18 by 24. So yeah, I haven't um, painted on canvas for like a long time. I've always been using canvas paper, which is what I use for this here. So I've been using canvas paper a lot, mostly because it's just easier to store, especially when I'm like practicing and learning new things and trying to figure things out with my artwork it's best for me to use canvas paper so that I can like easily store it because I not I won't necessarily and like really like what I paint if I'm trying lots of new things I won't want to like hang it up or anything like that anyways but yeah I will now get started Finally, after a few hours, <laughs> finished my sketch on my canvas. And so now I'm going to, where is it at? I'm going to spray it down with this fixative here so that it doesn't smear when I add paint and other things. So I'm going to do that in my garage. Then I have to wait a little bit for it to dry. And then I'm going to do something I was not planning on doing for this painting. Something I'm really excited about. I'm going to try collaging some pieces of paper onto the background. I bought on Etsy like these old um, crinkly, I guess some of them aren't old, but 
from France, like hand, handwritten French on random bits of paper and stuff. I'll show you that here in a few minutes. So I think I might collage some of that onto the painting. It's gonna be so exciting, so fun. All right, here are the papers I was talking about. And they're just like random bits of papers from France. Which is so cool. So yeah, I got these off Etsy. I don't remember the shop name. Um, but at the time of this video being up on my channel, if I do remember, I will put the shop name down in the description of this video. I like this one a lot. Oh, and this one I like a lot too. Yeah. I think this little like detail stamp thing looks really cool. Anyways, so I'm gonna choose one of these to use in my painting and collage it down. I've never done collage before, <laughs> so I am quite nervous, but also excited. This one's really cool. It looks really old. So yeah, I'm going to choose maybe one or two of these and collage down. So what I've learned, yeah, is that I can use this to collage onto my canvas and then use this to use around where I collage just to kind of make it look seamless in my painting. So we'll see what happens. Also, I've been using, it's called Dolly, D-A-L-L-E. Um, if you haven't heard of them, definitely look them up, but I've been using them to come up with ideas for my paintings. And I really like this one here. This is what I put for the description of the image that Dolly generated. So a monarch butterfly oil painting with abstract background, pastel blue. And I really like the colors in this butterfly and also the background. So I'm going to use this as like inspiration for my colors of my painting. All right, so this has all been sprayed down and is dry. And now I am going to collage these papers here onto the painting. So yeah, I chose these ones here. I might just use this one though, but yeah, here we go. Wish me luck. <laughs> pencil marks smeared. Maybe I just didn't add enough fixative to my canvas or maybe I didn't wait as long as I should have before I added the collage. So it's okay. That's fine. I'm really excited to see this painting come to life. This is just like the very beginning stages of it. So I added modeling paste around these papers to help make the edges look seamless in my painting so that you don't like see the straight edge of some of the paper. 
I want to add more but I just I don't want to overdo it so I'm just going to use these three pieces of paper September 25th I think and I sprayed my canvas down again with the fixative and my pencil is still smearing and I even let it dry for like two whole days so that's very disappointing um, and maybe my spray went bad or something so I'm gonna try maybe with the black parts of my drawing apply a sharpie so that then I can, once that dries, I can then use acrylics on top of that so my pencil won't smear. I also have Poshka markers that I can use on, to on top of my pencil. Um, I have a gold and a pink one and other colors, but I don't have black, unfortunately. And I also have Micron pens that I can use. So we'll see what happens. So I will be ordering more fixative for future paintings. <laughs> okay. Here we go. day in the morning so I'm still in my pajamas <laughs> but I did two layers of uh, fixative on this painting again so hopefully it'll be okay <laughs> so I'm going to continue painting this or working on this um, this morning and then here soon I'm going to share two exciting things with you I cannot wait to share with you so stay tuned for that a few hours later I worked a little bit more on this painting I just added some black to my butterfly my monarch butterfly and I think I'm going to finish this in the next vlog so if you'd like to see how it turns out keep a lookout for that vlog here in a few weeks hopefully in a week or two weeks <laughs> um, and I also mentioned in this vlog 
that I have some exciting news to share with you. So the very first news is that I'm going to be opening up the Blooming Artist membership. So if you would like to be notified when it opens up, there is a link to join the waitlist where you'll get an email uh, saying that it is open and it'll be opening in a few days from this vlog coming out. If not, like it is opening the next day after this vlog, like Friday or Saturday. I'll put the exact date of it opening in the description of this video. So if you'd like to learn more about that, then you can uh, join the waitlist. I will actually be working on this painting here in two days for the uh, monthly painting demo that we do for the membership. So my members will be seeing me painting this painting. That sounded kind of weird. And then the other exciting news is that we will be launching a spring shop. Um, <laughs> Rowan is down there um, in his bouncer seat looking at me. Hi. Um, anyways, we will be launching a spring shop. So we designed, or I should say my assistant Jen designed some artist t-shirts and they're so cute and we're going to be launching the shop here in probably a few weeks. And they, these are t-shirts for artists and they are looking so cute. Um, I'll keep you guys updated in the next vlog. Um, all about that. I ordered some t-shirts so they will be coming in soon and I'll show you those in the next vlog. Um, so yeah if you want to get notified when that um, launches you'll want to join the Blooming Artist newsletter which is my bi-weekly artist newsletter that I send out and I will let all of my newsletter subscribers know when it's opened and i'll also keep you updated here on the channel in my next vlog so anyways <laughs> thank you so much for watching if you made it past that whole spiel thank you for sticking around and yeah thank you for watching i appreciate you and i hope you enjoyed this vlog i will see you in the next one bye